the quote you just saw is a stoic philosophy life sometimes gets tough and the beauty of adopting stoic philosophy is it always protects you like a shield in tough times so you can remain calm and unaffected by the problems so in this video i'm going to tell you three of my favorite hand picked stoic philosophies and how it's going to help you so the first stoic philosophy i want to talk about is prepare for the worst normally people don't like to think about the negative situations that can come in their life and it's natural human tendency to avoid the worst case scenario but it can also make you feel scared deep inside it's a bit like hiding your worries under the surface and in this way you won't be able to live a peaceful and worry free mind a stoic mindset prepared for the worst encourages us to think about the challenges and difficulties you might face and it's not about thinking the negative but rather developing a uh, inner strength to face whatever come in your way and this practice is called pre madashio maloram by imagining what could go wrong and be ready for it you reduce the fear of unknown like having an emergency fund in case you quit your job taking health insurance for any unexpected health issues even backing up your important digital data to prevent data loss to begin with this take a moment and reflect on your fears that are bothering you and take steps to make the shield okay the next one is we suffer more in reality than in imagination so think about this how many times have you stressed over sometimes that hasn't even happened yet it's like our mind is having this incredible capability of blowing things out of the proportion right let's say you are anticipating a difficult conversation with one of your friends and your mind runs wild thinking all kinds of worst scenario like you are having a fight with him breaking up the relationship and blah 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 but in this case stoic have this cool inside they say we actually suffer more in our head than in reality it's like our imagination goes into overdrive making everything seems scarier than it actually is and guess what when you actually have that conversation it might not turn as terrible as you imagine it's almost like our fear gets amplified by our thoughts by recognizing this trigger you can work to differentiate between genuine challenges and have clearer perspective and anxiety free mind it's like reminding ourselves that our mind can play tricks with us and by grounding ourselves in the present moment we can easily avoid these unnecessary sufferings and the last one is my favorite it's momento mori you can skip to the next philosophy by clicking that time stamp here but as i always think it's good to start with a why and for me stoicism came in a time when there was no one to help me you can say i was feeling this immense pressure at work and struggling in my personal life i needed something or someone who can help me and as you know well that most of the time you will not find the people who can give you the exact solution of your problem who can understand what you are exactly feeling that time when i knew about stoicism and i could relate to these philosophies very well as i know this is exactly what i need and i bet you'll feel this too then after slowly applying these philosophies in my real life things changed i was able to deal any kind of small or big issues overall i became a different person anyways more on this maybe some day later for now let's return back to the philosophy this latin phrase translates into remember you must die it's like a short nudge to remind ourselves that life is short and everything will not last forever it might seem sad but for me it means to push ourselves to enjoy life and think what really matters this idea is not about to scare you or bring you down think about this way you know sometimes you get caught up to some little things later you realize that doesn't matter in this grand scheme of life like stressing over the work issues or getting frustrated over a minor inconvenience momentum mori stay like a wise friends here 
and whispers to you hey is this really worth your energy sometimes when i get to face negativity at work and feel low i tell this to myself in my mind and it replies me back this does not matter we are all going to die some day and helping me to see the bigger picture stoicism always helped me to survive in lots of my lows and i hope it helps you too so that's it if you're watching till now then thank you and forward this to at least one person who may need this there are lots of things to say about stoicism if this video does well then i'll also make a part two of it meet you in the next hey one thing only few months left to end this year and i recently made this video on how to work on your goals in the upcoming months you can check that i think you'll find that interesting